Welcome to this lesson on how to tell if the composite functions f of g of x, which is this one, and g of f of x, which is this one, exist. And to work out whether it exists, or to tell if it exists, uh, the f of g of x function, so I'm going to look at that one first, is if the range of the g function is contained in or is equal to the domain of the f function and this is the subset symbol and this line underneath means or equal to just like on a greater than or less than sign so it exists if the range of g is contained within the domain of f or is equal to the domain of f and the reason for that is because when you substitute an x value into the g function you get a y value for the g function and if that y value cannot be substituted into the f function, then that would mean that for that particular x value, or certainly the y value that you got when you subbed the x value into the g function, the f function wouldn't exist for that value. And that's why the range of the g function are the values that you need to look at to see whether f of g of x exists. So to work out whether this condition exists, I've worked out the domain and range of both functions and first of all looking at f of x, x squared minus 4 is your basic x squared parabola with a turning point of 0, 0 move down 4 as I've drawn it here. So looking at the domain, going to the left on the graph heads off to minus infinity and moving to the right the x values are moving towards positive infinity so the domain of that function is reals, all reals, or written this way in interval notation from minus infinity to infinity. And the range of this function, the lowest y value is minus 4, and both ends of the parabola head up to positive infinity. So minus 4 is included in the square bracket and up to positive infinity round bracket. And again, that's interval notation. So there's the domain and range of f. Looking at the g function, equal to the square root of x, and your basic square root graph is like a sideways parabola, just the top half of it, starting at 0, 0, and heading off, both the x and the y values heading off to infinity. So that means the domain is going to be from 0 inclusive up to positive infinity, and the range is also going to be from 0 inclusive up to positive infinity and so that's usually the way I do this kind of problem first of all work, work out my domain and range for both of the functions then working out the, uh, the conditions or whether these conditions apply is quite easy from there and so looking at the range of g range of g is this one here from 0 to infinity and I've sketched that here using this little like a number line so here this dotted blue line represents the 0 negative numbers on the left positive numbers on the right and so this line here represents the numbers from 0 inclusive colored in dot up to infinity so that's the range of G the domain of F is up here so all reals and or minus infinity to positive infinity. I've drawn that here as a line going uh, off to infinity to the right and also to the left. So the question is, is the range of G contained in the domain of F? Are these values here contained in these values here? And the answer is yes they are. Quite clearly these numbers here are in this part of this yellow arrow. So that means this con condition is true which means that that f of g of x does exist. Looking at g of f of x, the condition is the range of the function that's being substituted in, which I've got here, range of f, is that contained within the domain of the outside function? Yes, it is. <laughs> no, it isn't. I haven't tested it yet. If that's true, then yes, that will exist. So again, looking at the range of f, and up here, so the range of f minus 4 to infinity, and I've drawn that here from minus 4 inclusive up to positive infinity, and again the negatives are on the left of this dotted line, the positives are on the right, so that's the range of f. 
the domain of G looking here is from zero to infinity as I've drawn with this arrow here from zero towards positive infinity and asking the question are the range or is the range of F contained within the domain of G are these values contained in those values and the answer is no because these values here are not also in here even though these ones are, are within the domain of G these ones aren't and because these ones aren't that means that the range of F is not contained in the domain of G so this is not true so this function G of F of X doesn't exist and that's pretty much how you work out whether F of g of x or g of f of x exist and as I mentioned before I like to set these up first then this part is kind of easy and it flows um, very easily from start to finish and I usually sketch a graph as well and I'd recommend that in your practice leading up to tests and exams that you do the same practice graphs whenever you have an equation uh, or anything that involves the graph and by the end of the year you'll find that you get really good at drawing graphs and that's about it for this lesson if you have any questions leave one or comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and other than that I'll see you in the next lesson